Hello everyone, and welcome to our new Mech Arena Map Tips video. For those who missed our first episode dedicated to Skyship 11, this series takes a deep dive into Mech Arena's maps to reveal some useful spots you may not have tried. We'll also discuss how to deal with attacks coming from unexpected places. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Patterson Station. Make sure to watch to the end for a bonus tip you don't want to miss. Patterson Station is perhaps best known as the Winter Map. It's also notable for having an elevated central control point. If you want to take that point, you're probably going to have to make yourself a target. So, let's talk tactics. A common strategy you'll see on this map is to capture the central control point as early as possible using a fast mech like Killshot or Shadow. The mech in question may not survive, but if you can capture that point fast, your opponent will have a hard time retaking it, especially once the rest of your team is set up and ready to defend it. That means if you're not using a fast mech to take the point, your role is to try to defend whoever does, and we have the ideal map tip to help you do that. This ice ledge here is a perfect place to protect the central control point, and you can even view other control points from up there as well, making it a good defensive position. Now, depending on which mech you're using, walking to this spot may take a while. If you want to ensure you get up here before the opposition reaches the central control point, consider using Lancer. You can use its jump jets to get to this spot pretty quickly. Your Lancer may not be equipped with your biggest guns, but the speed advantage could be enough to protect that central control point and give your team an early advantage. Put javelins, missile racks, or long arms on it, and you'll be well placed to prevent the loss of that control point. If your opponent tries to use this location against you, all is not lost. You can push toward the ice ledge from the center to get a good shot and buy your scout some time. Another option is to flank your opponent. Having guided weapons makes it even easier, as you won't even need to be overly aggressive and can get a shot at your opponent while exposing your own mech to minimal risk. As with any tactical location, you'll still need good mech control and map awareness to make the most of the advantage. Next up is this little spot nearby. This one gives you line of sight to the central control point and another control point. It also gives you a shot at any opponent mechs trying to sneak through this tunnel. Get up here and you can pretty much control the field. The tricky thing is that you'll need a mech that can jump to get here. Right now, that means Lancer and Tengu, and while Tengu can reach this spot, it's important to remember that Tengu was designed for an offensive playstyle. So, while Tengu can reach this spot, you may get more value out of Tengu if you focus on capturing control points and playing more aggressively instead. And what if the opponent tries to use this spot to get the upper hand? Well, the good news is that you have line of sight from the center of the map and from this control point. This wall provides a degree of protection, but if you've got a weapon capable of splash damage, you can certainly make your opponent think twice about staying here. As with any tactical position, it can give you the edge if your timing is right. But as a general rule, you never want to stay in one place for too long. Let's move to spot number three, the landing platform. It has a similar tactical value to the ice ledge, just on the other side of the map. Securing this landing platform gives you a line of sight to three control points, including the central one. Naturally, this is a really advantageous position to be in. However, to get here, you'll need to take a stroll across this ice bridge, which means your mech will be a sitting duck for a while. You'll also need enough skill to maneuver in a very cramped space. Once again, Lancer can make your life easier here. With two jumps, you can get up to the landing platform right behind this helicopter. Equip some javelin racks, and you'll be able to target opponents near these two control points in relative safety. Also, bear in mind that if your opponent wants to waste an artillery salvo on a single mech or spend time flanking you, you're taking the heat off your teammates. So, it's a win-win. Cause your opponent problems and make them waste time chasing you down. Meanwhile, your team can focus on the control points. And, of course, if your opponent tries to use this spot against you, remember to check up here when you spawn. And last but not least, for our bonus location, we have the Ice Peaks. This spot is great not only for the tactical advantage, but also for the amazing photo opportunity. If you want to make your own mech arena wallpaper, fire up a custom match, max out your FOV settings, and head up here for an awesome vista. And that's it for today's map tips. We hope you liked it and learned something new about the game we all love. If so, hit like, press the subscribe button, and tell us what you think of this series in the comments below. Until next time, get out there and blow something up. Bye for now.